you done got another one in and sold it or y'all still waiting? We're waiting. I sold a cart. <laughs> right. I left here and sold a cart. You're going to have to just leave Michael at home. Tell him you don't need him around no more. Uh, well, I kind of do because I need him to order because I order too much. <laughs> <laughs> he got oh, on man. to me. Cause, uh, so well, you our, can't, let me tell you, I've been to Matco Trucks mm -hmm. all across America. I know you've seen some pictures of them. Yes. Every one of them's loaded down. I'm like, God, you got the most loaded down Matco truck I've ever seen. He said, you can't sell it if you ain't got it. Exactly. Sorry. Well, we've got it ordered. We just can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he he picked on me because I've been doing the ordering and stuff. Cause he's like, I'm going to just let you do it and let's see right. how you do it. I said, okay. So that's fine. So, you know, you get an invoice that says you have so many items that come in. Well, on one day after... I think it was last Monday or something like that. Anyways, my my shipment started coming in, not his, but mine. And it was like six packages, eight packages, 10 packages. And I was like, you can't slow down. You're gonna <laughs> Tell him you can't sell it if it ain't on the truck. Well, I mean, that's what I said. I said, look. I said, ain't nobody oh. want to order from a pitcher. You might as well order it off of Amazon, right? Yeah, I mean, you gonna sometimes do that? So. that happens. <laughs> <laughs> so you might as well get it. Yeah. Uh, as you can tell, we really... Box is gone, cart's gone, waiting on them to come in. I actually, Monday, Michael picked on me also. So I sell a lot from the cart, mm -hmm. like carts from the book. But anyways, I pre-sold a cart. And he called and he said, I've been talking to that guy forever and couldn't get him to buy. I said, yeah. I said, I just said, hey, what do you think about this color? And he was good. There you yeah. go. So you picked that up. I did. I was looking at this. And so for you guys that don't know... This is for a Dave Co filter cap. And yeah, you can use a pair of ice grips on it. And yeah, you're going to eat the teeth off of it. And yeah, it's going to look like crap. Or you can buy one of these and make your life easier. Yeah, you can buy it. That's fine. That's one of those instances of. I had a five inch one somewhere. I think somebody bought it. Yeah. Um, yesterday. But I mean. Other than that, have y'all seen our new bags that come out? The gun bags? Have you not seen one yet? I knew you had went to visit different I haven't seen them. I, I heard them. Well, I actually seen one standing up in the corner of a truck, but I haven't yeah. looked at it. Well, right. behind you, it's still in the box. So, I'll open it. But, I don't think the guy here. It's our new box. New things. And I'm going to drag it. It must be heavy. It's not heavy. It's oh. just big. I was seen you dragging it out. I thought, man, no. a, you put a gun in it, it's just sure enough to be heavy. No, it's not that bad. But he ordered it, and the odd thing is, he didn't know if he wanted black or tan. And I told him, I said, if you don't like this one, I said, I'll just reorder you a different color mm -hmm. and then go from there. So, but anyways, you're going to laugh, but I use a pen. I don't use a knife. Whatever works, right? Exactly. So, well, go ahead. I was gonna say, I, I figured you'd have sold your little pager things. We actually sold. I can't remember. Those are cool. Yeah. Are y'all getting any of the guitars in? We have them ordered. I ain't got ours in. Oh, they're gonna come in. So I know we ordered. I think you won. Mm -hmm. You were the first person that bought one. Oh, well, that's pretty neat. Anyways, this is a 42 inch one. I'm sure you have plenty of guns to go in bags like this, right? So. Yeah, I'll keep most of mine in, in cases like that. Cause. All right. Yes, this is actually heavy, believe it or not. All right. Do you want to demonstrate it? Go ahead. You're no, doing you a fine can. job. You, you want me to flip it around? You're okay. doing good. You want to wear it? No, it's okay. got a <laughs> backpack straps on it. Yeah. Carry handle. That's nice. You know, just in case. I mean, you might need that. Oh, that's nice. Y'all are going on vacation. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty that's nice. nice. I like the pockets on it and the molly straps. Yeah. So. That's Velcro. That Velcro, yeah. So I guess you get you some patches and mm -hmm. stick on there. I know Maco distributors were uh, getting people to make actual embroidered patches. You know how we had like the flags and stuff? Right. 
they were making them to go on these bags. Cool. So, I mean, it's neat. And I mean, the inside of it's nice too. Oh yeah, that is cool. Plenty of pockets for when you can buy ammunition. Yeah, when <laughs> when I ain't sold out or limit you to two boxes. I know. I had a customer get off the truck. It was in Corinth and leave because he had the uh, Second Amendment mm -hmm. had just got stock in, and he said, "I got to go right now, or they're going to be sold out." Yep. So, hi. It's two boxes, I reckon, everywhere. Yep. That's terrible. Oh, and the inside is targets. Well, how about that? Ain't so that you just can me? See, if I want to open it on here, you would have never known. That's right. <laughs> get something get out of the box, even. Exactly. That's nice. But I know this, they had some DeSantis holsters, too, like pistol yes. holsters and stuff. Those are nice. I've actually got two of those myself. Really? Those are nice. Do you I like them? I didn't get them from Matco, but. You know. Well, I mean, do you like them, though, yeah, in general, the brand? Good. Mm -hmm. We'll see. That's good, though. That's good. Y'all ever gonna get any stubby impacts back in? Whenever they want to come in, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're What ordered. is wrong with Matco? Like, mm -hmm. they just said, hey, we ain't gonna mess with red back boots. We're just gonna let everybody be on back order. All of our socket rails, we're just gonna leave everybody on back order. Can't get any stubbies. Your guess is good as mine. I just know what customer service is. That's it. <laughs> Golly. I need to, Matco needs to do something, you know? Because what's funny is you can go to Redback's website and mm -hmm. buy the boots, but yeah. none of the Matco guys can get any that they've got ordered. I don't know if it's because Matco has to order so many and get them over here at one time, or, I mean, I don't know. I know I got on a Redback whenever mm -hmm. Michael first started. I was curious about how their website worked. So I got on Redback and I was like, oh, look at these American flag socks. I didn't realize Matco was supposed to come out like mm -hmm. with them branded, but they were twenty five dollars to ship those things, and I said I'm not Holy paying. Holy cow! For yeah. one pair of socks. One pair of socks. So. Damn! Can you imagine what a <laughs> pair of boots would cost? I don't. Like, I don't even. Your want boots to... are two hundred and seventy dollars, be one hundred and thirty bucks shipping. <laughs> I know. I was like, Michael, do you think I can find somebody in over in Australia to send me a pair of socks? He's like, think about it. If their sh if Redback is a you know corporation mm. and theirs is twenty five dollars, imagine what an individual's cost is to ship over. That there. is nuts for one pair of socks. Yes, one pair, five dollar pair of socks. Oh, no, it wasn't even five. I think so. It was you'd 10. have thirty bucks in one pair of socks. Yes. Holy cow! And I'm like, as much as I wear them outside in my sock, you know, just I wear sock feet everywhere. Well, you know, this funny. You you're talking about that. <clears throat> you know what my one number one problem is, which I've been flying a lot lately. <laughs> But my pet peeve, it ain't standing in the lines. It ain't pulling my crap out of the bags to show them. And if you go through and you fly with camera equipment, it's real fun because you have to show them everything. Right? Yeah, see, Michael has to take his laptop and his charger and our phones and all that has to be out in individual. Well, doors. imagine carrying this rig with you through the airport. Like, it's a blast. I don't fuss about that. You know what the one thing that bothers me? People that are barefoot going through there. Well, first me. of all, you know, I love to wear Crocs, but I've never flown in Crocs because I know I'd have to put my naked feet on them nasty mm -hmm. ass floors and that ain't <laughs> never happening. Like there ain't no, there ain't enough money to make me walk across that airport floor no. with my bare feet. It ain't right. happening. But I don't like taking my shoes off, putting my clean socks on that dirty floor and then you got to put them back, back on in your shoes. In your shoes so this is what i started doing like after the first time i flew i was like oh no i'm not putting my feet on this floor and then putting them back in my shoes like that ain't happening yeah. so i just pulled my socks off and put my shoes on without my socks put my socks in my backpack right so now i put a pair of socks in my backpack i walk through the line pull them socks off put a new sock on put a shoe on pull the dirty sock off put a new sock on put a shoe on Right. Like, well, I can't stand. You can that. get you some of those things that they use at um, hospitals, those blue, those blue things, and slip them over your feet for you walk through. Like people fuss about having to take their belt. I don't even care about that. That don't bother me. Like they even take your hat off and look in your yeah. band. That don't bother me. If they gonna make you walk across them nasty ass floors barefooted, they need to at least clean them floors. Like that's yeah. my thing. Like I ain't getting grit in my shoe. It ain't happening now. <laughs> Well, no, you also got to think about the people that walk across barefoot. Your feet, 
you know, your tennis yeah, shoes are walking across there. Yeah, what if they got there. dead gum uh, athlete's foot or something, you know? That stuff's contagious. I ain't, I don't <laughs> do that. Like, I have probably got the most tender feet. Like, my wife jokes about it all the time. She, she said, I could put a million dollars in a bag out there by that dumpster, and you couldn't walk out there and get it barefoot. And I said, I wouldn't even try. There's no way. See, Michael's that way. He, he don't go nowhere without his socks and his shoes, no matter if it's like he slips on like the little slides, you know, the Nike mm -hmm. slides, slide those on and walk out. Not me, not none of my kids. We will barefoot everywhere. Nope, I don't do it. Like, like I got house, shoes like that I house. wear at home. <laughs> like when I come in the back door, I never wear what I wear in the shop home because I yeah. don't want to get grease or anything on our carpet mm -hmm. or, you know, our floors. That don't ever come out. But I take them <laughs> shoes off and I put on another pair of like Crocs type shoes mm -hmm. and that's what I wear in the house. Now on the carpet, I go barefoot all the time, but I put my Crocs on when I walk across the tile and all that because I don't like, I just, I'm tender footed. Sorry. Seriously? That's the way it works. Like, yeah. oh my God. Okay. When I go to the pool, I wear my shoes till my ass is in the water. I can't walk on that pea gravel. With <laughs> that. What do you do at the beach? I don't take, I don't, like, we go to the beach a lot. Like, you know that, right? Uh -huh. This is what I do. I leave my shoes on. I don't get in the water. Everything in the ocean tries to eat your ass anyway. I ain't getting in the ocean. Like, I don't care. I, I, <laughs> when I was like eight, we went to the beach and I got stung by a jellyfish. I haven't been back in the water since then. And we went to the beach probably a hundred times. You just got to rip off that Band-Aid. <laughs> nope. I don't care. Like, I have no... Like, what, why are you going to swim in the ocean? Like, you got a pool at the motel, right? There ain't no sharks in there. There ain't no jellyfish. Look, Steve Irwin, Irwin he was a badass. And, a, and one of those stingrays killed him, right? But normal people ain't got no... Like, you're done. Okay? Everything in the ocean tries to eat you. So I don't get into ocean water. Yeah. I take my chair... I don't go to the beach in the daytime anyway. We go at nighttime. I take my chair out there and I set it up with my Bluetooth speaker and my cooler and I drink beer and listen to the water. That's what I do. I guess that works too. <laughs> if that shark's going to eat me, he's going to have to walk up there and get me is all I can tell Have you, you seen the ones that have been beaching themselves? I mean, them I mean. sons going to have to be bad to get me, I'm telling you. <laughs> but that well. jellyfish, when I was eight, it stung me. <laughs> I haven't been back in the ocean since then. Well, see, our... Don't care nothing about it. I ain't got no <laughs> need to go in the ocean. Well, our middle one, Sabrina, she actually got stung. She was walking, and it was on our anniversary trip, so two years ago. She was walking through. They had had that, it was when that real bad storm had come up and it had washed all that debris yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Well, apparently it had flushed the jellyfish up there where we were at. She was walking across and she stepped on it. Well, she started hollering. We didn't think nothing about it. And it looked like somebody had cut her. And we thought she'd landed on the glass or something. But it was a jellyfish and mm -hmm. she went back. And, and it hurts it. too. It They're did. bad. Yeah, she turned, her little foot turned red and it, it looked like somebody had cut mm -hmm. her open. So, but then she went back and touched it. So you're gonna have to touch a jellyfish. I'm good. She went back and just played with it and then picked it up like this. I got pictures of her doing it. I'm good. Like, I'm telling you, I don't, I'm done with it. Like, they ain't, like, there's a lot of people on earth that'll keep doing the same thing over and over, hoping for a different result. Yeah. And that's the definition of an insanity. Like, when I was a little boy, my mama said, don't touch that iron, it'll burn your finger. Well, you do. Mm -hmm. You stick your finger to it, right? Just to see it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to this day, I've never touched the bottom of the iron. I don't care if it's crap the damn things in the closet with the cord wrapped around it. I don't touch the you bottom of it. So well, like it only takes me one time to learn my lesson. I'm done. I won't go I don't mess with the ocean. I love to go. I like to listen to it. I like to look at it. Mm -hmm. But take pictures of it. Just won't get in it. That's it. That's you. how I roll. <laughs> I guess that's what works. <laughs> Prime example, look at her old Matco dealer. He done me wrong. That was it. I was done with him, right? Yeah. But say you got back on the Matco truck though. Yeah, because there's different folks. See, but it's, to, it's still You suck microbes. all the bad stuff that eats people and stings people and hurts people out of the ocean, I get it. But I just soon stay in the pool. Same difference. And it ain't salty. And it's clean. That's it. You ain't got to worry about all that fish stuff. You know what fish do in water, right? Yeah. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think about that. <laughs> I'm good with swimming in the ocean. <laughs> I'm going to leave that all to the surfers, the cool oh. dudes. All right. All right, guys, so now y'all make fun of me for having tender feet and don't get in the ocean because the jellyfish ruined it for me forever and ever. Amen. All right, guys, like always, y'all have a great weekend. If you like a video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. You guys have a great week. See ya.